What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining. Hope you are having a great one, as always. Ta-da! Look at that. I did a little Star Wars side-scroll for y'all. <laughs> so today, if you can't tell from the box, uh, we are looking at the Obi-Wan Kenobi Clone Wars uh, six-scale figure. Now, I did sort of cheat and already open this. Um, I haven't really dug into the figure. We'll get to that in a moment. But uh, UPS doesn't really care for their packaging too well. Uh, and as a result, the box was definitely a bit on the smashed side. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of quickly open it, take a look and make sure there wasn't anything broken before we really uh, dove into it, um, just because that would have been sad. Uh, and it doesn't look like there is. I haven't really taken anything fully out. Uh, the clamshell was fine, so I, I think we're good there. Um, but I did take it out of its plastic wrapper already, so I am a little bit sad about that. But we'll get to actually look at the figure in just a second. Uh, also, I did get Anakin as well. Um, also, you can see they did not take care of his box very well. Uh, but if you want to get some savings, you got that going. So go ahead and scan and steal that little code there uh, and enjoy 15% off your next Marvel purchase if you order anything from Sideshow. Always good to save some money, so I like that they've been throwing those on there for us. Um, now, Sideshow is really good with their customer service. I honestly don't know if they're going to be able to really do much about the box. I mean, technically, I guess I could return the figure... Um, which I don't necessarily want to do. I don't really have any intention of re reselling them down the road, I don't think. Uh, but I'll reach out to them and see what happens. I have a feeling Anakin's going to be equally damaged, so we'll kind of take a look at that as well. But hopefully the figure is fine. <laughs> so with these guys, you don't get a ton of stuff. Uh, they do have a little bottom tray that you can pop open real quick. All it's got is the uh, a very generic stand and then some extra hands on it. Um, Honestly, I probably should have just left that on, but for those that are wondering, we're going to start with the boring parts and get them out of the way. Like I said, it's a very generic stand. There's no painting, no uh, like nameplate or anything like that on it, which was kind of a letdown, um, but at the same time, I am a firm believer that your figure should be identifiable by its look, not by its nameplate. I would have liked if they put a little sideshow S there or something. I think that would have been nice. Um, you do get the Star Wars on the bottom, but nobody's going to see this, so it's kind of unnecessary, but hey, it's there for you. I almost wonder if they did that backwards. I could easily see that being like a whoopsie, like maybe that was supposed to be up on the top. That probably would have made more sense, but I digress. Uh, you do get a ton of extra hands from a man, which is a good thing. It uh, looks like there's eight extras in there, so you get a whole bunch uh, of various different ones, and we are going to take a quick close-up if I can get a good view. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Um, Honestly, what I wanted to show with that is the way they're painted and kind of molded. Uh, they did a really good job kind of capturing that, that animated look to them. Um, so it doesn't really look like a real person's hand, because it, it shouldn't. <laughs> but I, I, I'm honestly quite impressed with that. I know it's a strange thing to be impressed by, but I'll take a look at another one or two if I can easily get them out. Yeah, they did a, they did a pretty cool job with those. Um, it's a small thing to be impressed by, but they're kind of squared off and cool. I, I don't know, I like that. I dig it. Uh, so, good job in that regard, Sideshow. I'll, I'll give you credit where credit's due. Uh, you do get a couple different lightsabers. Uh, one with the blade extended, which will hopefully pop out nice and easy. And then you also get a separate hilt as well. Uh, I do wish they would have done uh, a light-up feature on these. I know it's hard, but uh, that would be something cool to see down the road. Uh, but for those that are interested, maybe we can get a good little... There we go. Actually did do a pretty nice job on that. Uh, it is plastic, which I do wish it would have been metal, just because there's some kind of thin parts there. But uh, as long as you're not rough with it, I don't think you'll have any issue. I would be a little concerned if you're constantly snapping it in and out of uh, a hand. Um, that, that little area... Pretty fragile. I could easily see that popping off if you're not careful, so maybe be mindful of that. Um, and then you get the uh, the just the the basic hilt as well. I feel like they should have at least done this one metal. Um, I mean, I'm not going to hate on them because they actually did a really good job as far as making it look metal. <laughs> That's honestly quite impressive there. Um, but it would have been cooler if they did a, a full-on metal version of this. I think. Either way. 
you got those fun little bits. And then you get a little hologram of Commander Cody. So that's super cool. I'm going to try and yank him out. And there you go. Now this one is attached to the base from the looks of it. I wouldn't try yanking it out, um, which is cool in some regards. I almost wish they would have tried to just match the one that's, that Hot Toys did. Uh, that way you could swap him out with, you know, the ones that you get from, like, the Ahsoka, or uh, I feel like Rex had a couple as well. I think the, the Anakin that they did comes with them. Um, I think that would have been a nice little touch if they just made it all interchangeable. But it does look really cool. Probably spent a little more time on that than I needed to. Uh, more importantly, let's take a look at this guy. Uh, now, I've had a lot of people online that were worried about his head sculpt. So, we're going to get right up in there. Um, honestly, I really like it. Uh, I could understand some of the complaints that people have, usually, that it's kind of flat in color. Um, but I think that might just be, you know, dependent on the lighting. Uh, honestly, it, it really looks pretty good to me. I, I, you know, I'm not overly picky by any means, but I really think they, uh, they nailed it. At least on Obi-Wan. Um, you know, obviously it could be better, but it could be a whole lot worse. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get the rest of this little plastic garbage off. Uh, at some point I'll pop the head and take this thing off. But, well, maybe I won't need to. Are you going to be friendly? I have a feeling it's not going to be friendly. Alright. Off you come. That did not go as planned, but... Live and learn, right? What an interesting design. I'm gonna be sad if I just like severely damaged it. Maybe I did. Nope, there we go. Step one, step two. Alright, good to go. It's a weird neck peg. You done weird stuff, Sideshow. You did weird stuff with that. Um this fabric I actually really, really like. I don't know what it's made out of. It's super thin, so it's it looks really good, at least in my opinion, and accurate to how it would look if it were real. Um, I mean, I guess it is real, but... Now that, though, the robe is amazing. Um, honestly, quite impressed with that. Uh, and the inner outfit, for the most part, looks good. Um, I do like footwear. Uh, they... Ooh, you get a little ankle. Nope, ankle just pops off. So you get a little ankle pivot, but not too much there. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that back into place. There we go. So yeah, there's not a ton of, uh, not a whole ton of range of motion in the foot, but that's all right. It's not like he's one to do ninja kicks or anything crazy like that. Um, ooh, they even did a good job with this. Oh, and it's wired? Sideshow? Look at you. Bravo, guys. Bravo. That's awesome. Um, now the pants, from what I could tell, don't really seem to hinder movement too much. Uh, you get basically what you'd need out of a leg bend. Um, at least at the knee. Now this is the part that kind of worries me. Alright, so you can do a good amount of Moving there. Oh, hey, he could basically do a, a Spartan kick. If you want to kick Darth Maul off the edge, you could do that. Uh, so that's pretty dang good there. Um, now the cloak, from what I can tell, does prevent him from raising his arms up too high, uh, at least in that direction. Pretty good. Pretty good range of motion, though. Uh, huh. All right, so my immediate, immediate thought is that I like it. Yes, sir, I like it. I do feel he's scaled and proportioned pretty well. I almost... I might be wrong, but I feel like... Let me move some of this out of the way. No, he looks better. Okay. 
I almost feel like his head could be a little larger, but I'm probably off on that. I think I'm just misgaging everything. And maybe it's because of his boots. His boots make his legs look really, really longer um, to me. I'm probably imagining that. But... Gotta see how he looks with the hood up, right? Oh, that's perfect. That's so good. <laughs> so if you don't like the head sculpt, you're covered. <laughs> Obviously, you can play around a little bit better than that. He actually does lay down pretty nice. I don't feel a wire in there, maybe in this top part. No, it's actually just stitched pretty well. Uh, so you'd have to kind of play around with it. Again, this fabric is really good. It's it's super light and pliable, so like it's going to kind of move however you really want it to, I think. Dang you. All right, I'm amused. Um, honestly, I I'm really digging this so far. I am going to take a close-up look at the belt for anybody that's wondering. All right, they kind of cheaped out on the pouches, not going to lie. Sorry, Sideshow, but it's true. Um, <laughs> they look... So one of the weird issues that I'm going to say, and this is really hard to explain, and I'm probably going to explain it very poorly... Okay, so that's the little button there, so we're going to kind of cover that up a little bit. Um, so the robe looks like the robe of a real person. These pouches and the boots look like they're more of an animated thing. <laughs> I don't know if that really makes sense. Uh... Basically, those look like they're more designed to look fake, I guess. I don't really know how to explain that very well. Hopefully, I, I'm not doing a terrible job. But I feel like if these were more of like a realistic kind of leathery look, um, it might match the outfit better. Uh, it would then kind of clash with the head, I guess. But I don't know. I'm going to have this like this most of the time, so I'm not going to see those little things. But if you were wondering, he's got some attached pouches there. Uh, the belt looks like fake leather. Um, I don't think you would easily be able to take it off. You might be able to get to it from the back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, most of his stuff's going to open up there if you really wanted to. Um, again, that's going to be hidden with this cloak most of the time. Or eventually I'll pose him up fighting Maul. Or uh, I have the old Sideshow Ventress, which... Uh, is going to look probably out of place next to this guy, to be honest. I was almost hoping that uh, it wouldn't look too bad, but I think comparatively this is dramatically better than that. Uh, maybe when I unbox Anakin, I'll pull Ventress out, and then we can do a little comparison with her. But for now, um, we're going to leave it at that. Uh, these guys are a little bit more expensive than I genuinely wish, especially because you don't get a ton of accessories with them. I think they're like right around 220 or something like that. Um, but I really, really like the look of this guy. Um, I'm very, very happy with the Obi-Wan. I'm hoping I'll be that way with Anakin. The Yoda, that I, the prototype stuff that they've shown looks great. I'm skipping Ahsoka so far, unless they change her head sculpt. I'm, I'm hard passing on that one. Uh, I'll have Rosario Dawson's version and then the Hot Toys one, so I don't really need it. But, uh, this guy's looking pretty dang cool, and I don't have an Obi-Wan in my collection because I'm weird, so I'm super happy to finally get him. Uh, if you're interested, they've got plenty. Uh, you still technically can, I think, pre-order it um, at Sideshow, but uh, definitely check it out. You can get them from there. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store, most of the other places are going to have them available as well. Uh, so, you know, check around, find the best pr price, shop smart, as they say. Well, that'll do it for this one. Thank you all so very much. Uh, hope you have a great one, and until next time, uh, may the Force be with you and all of that. Huzzah.